From the sweet tea to the brisket, the sauce, for a lot of people, Bill Miller's is the barbecue place go-to. I can almost taste it right now. Audrey <laughs> Castrano goes inside the Bill Miller kitchen to find out how it's all still made in SA. When downtown, you can't miss the smell of barbecue in the air. And if your nose can't lead you to the Bill Miller commissary, where it's all made, then their water tower can. But the history of Bill Miller barbecue starts back in 1953 with Bill and Isla Faye Miller. The two opening their first restaurant, which still operates today. I'm served hamburgers and fried chicken at first and then added barbecue later. The Millers both have since passed, but in this rare interview shot before Mr. Miller's death, you understand their passion for the product. It was just kind of in my blood to, to cook barbecue. It was something that I was fascinated with. And uh, so we started and it went from, from nothing to today. It was fun and it was hard work. It was long hours. Um, so they operated that as husband and wife and their, their boys who were young at the time grew into the business. Today, the company has expanded to more than 60 restaurants across San Antonio and as far out as Austin and Corpus Christi. And, and the products that we serve today are the same thing that we served back then. Still using large wood-burning pits to cook their meat. And the same family recipes that have kept generations of families coming back for more. The business model for Bill Miller has always been quality, consistency, and value. Um, it attracts all walks of life when you can provide those Hi, items. How are you today? So we got prices to attract the working people, and we got quality to attract the, the mayor. Their children, now joined by third and fourth generation Millers, who are still ensuring their barbecue holds up to what locals have grown to love. And they all are. Uh, they all eat at our stores every day. Um, and so they're, they're checking things just like we want them to, to make sure we're doing right by what you know, this foundation is. A legacy Isla Faye and Bill Miller would be proud of. I would like for my children to continue to work together in harmony, and I hope that they will continue to contribute of themselves through the years, because if you give to others, then your cup runneth over. Audrey Castoreno, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.